lapse video tonight showing this. Parts of the Middle East today as a dust storm actually turned the sky orange. Kuwait's National Weather Service forecasted this dusty weather with wind speeds exceeding 37 miles per hour and temperatures reaching 115 degrees. Here we were complaining about 90. <laughs> <laughs> and, and pollen. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah we've got a comfortable night. Uh, big changes in the last 24 hours. The humidity has dropped off. The heat is gone. Take a peek outside in Newport where skies are cloudy. You may get a couple of sprinkles overnight early tomorrow morning, but essentially dry next several days. We could use some rain. We're running a little below average. I just don't see anything really widespread over the next several days. Temps now in the upper 50s to well, still 63 in Providence. Newport's at 57, Smithfield 59. Cooler New Bedford now at 54, so you don't need the air conditioner next several nights. Says cooler nights ahead compared to where we were for the nighttime temperatures this past weekend. And really no signs of any big heat or uh, very high humidity. Returning at least and through Thursday, though the humidity does make a somewhat of a rise by Friday, and that will come with some showers on Friday. But right now, we're thinking this is going to be more of a Friday evening or a Friday night. A lot of uncertainty with the weekend forecast, unfortunately. Uh, some of our guidance suggesting more of a cool, uh, wet weekend, whereas other guidance suggests more of a mild and dry situation. We're leaning towards the mild and dry scenario Saturday, Sunday, and Memorial Day Monday, even though we've got uh, a couple of showers in the forecast on Saturday. We'll, we'll see that in the seven-day outlook. Uh, skies are becoming mostly cloudy. There's rain off to our south and west, and we could really use this, but the bulk of it's going to slide just underneath us. So we'll get clipped with some of the clouds tomorrow morning. Maybe a sprinkle, if that, but not even uh, enough to even take the umbrella with you. It's essentially a dry Tuesday. Which we'll show you the hour by hour forecast. You can see tomorrow morning a little speckle of green coming through, indicating a sprinkle around 7, 8 a.m. Clouds giving way to increasing sunshine by noontime. It's a beautiful afternoon looking at temperatures in the upper 60s. Now we should be about 71 this time of year. So we're like two, two, three degrees below average, but we're pretty close to uh, what we should be for late uh, May. 67 by around 6 o'clock in the evening, and then clear, cool, dry for tomorrow night. Just a passing sprinkle tomorrow morning. We do start with clouds, especially early, but by late morning, the clouds are already breaking apart. Some sunshine coming through at that time, 63, and it looks good in the afternoon. Comfortable, humidity not too high, temperatures in the upper 60s, maybe a few spots getting briefly to 70. You can see the rain chances here, zero. It is a dry and comfortable afternoon. Bay forecast with the clouds in the morning, some sunshine in the afternoon. The winds are light, northeast turning east. At about 5 to 10 knots, waves in the bay about 1 to 2 feet. Water temperature about 56, 57. Most, most of your sunshine at the beaches tomorrow would be during the afternoon. We do start with clouds in the morning. Air temperature at the shoreline in the mid 60s. Very comfortable Wednesday and Thursday. Showers for Friday. We're thinking that waits until Friday night, going with a chance for a few showers on Saturday. And at this point, we're being cautiously optimistic about Sunday, Memorial Day, Monday, with partly sunny skies and temperatures in the 70s. Mike and Shannon. Thank you, Tony.